Hello friends, Sarah from Sweet Sense from the Dollhouse. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and hang out with us here at the Dollhouse. Smash that bell for future content notification because I do three to five home fragrance vlogs a week when my internet is cooperating. <clears throat> um, and then I throw in some random stuff on the in-between to my regular waxies as always. Thanks for coming back. Um, I, I'm going to try and make this video quick because... My daughter, Ella, who is two and a half, almost three, started daycare this month. Um, prior to September 10th, she had very minimal exposure to the outside world and germs. So we have been recently hit with our second cold and flu-like symptoms. So my poor baby is very like raspy and chesty right now. Um, the rest of us are doubling up on our um, fluid intake and our essential oils and our vitamins trying to fight it off and help baby fight it off, but I don't know, we just have to embrace it. Tis the season for germs compounded with entering like the public daycare, I don't know, whatever you want to call that. Ugh, it's just a recipe for disaster. Anyhow, I split all of my monthly empties into two parts because usually I have a ton. This month I had an exceptional blah, 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 an exceptional amount of empties because I had a lot of partial clams um, left over from last fall that I didn't finish. I really wanted to finish those up before I got into some of my newer wax, especially if you do vendor wax or um, anything that has soy in it. Paris soy will last a lot longer than just pure soy, but you really want to rotate your wax. Um, I found even some of my primarily paraffin vendor wax has lost its scent. I'm not sure if it's because of the bags. Not lost its scent entirely, but it wasn't as powerful as it was last fall. So I definitely want to rotate my wax collection, keep an eye on it. Once you accumulate so much of it, you want to turn it over and be sure that you're using it all before it starts to lose its scent. So this month, I divided my empties into two parts. The first part, I will put a link in the description box below if you didn't watch that video. I tried to put all of my commercial wax empties in the first portion of the month and then I saved the majority of my vendor wax for the second September dollhouse trash video. Obviously in the last two weeks I have accumulated a few more commercial items but check out that link in the description box below if you happen to miss that video. So let's start with um, Bath and Body Works first. I got, I'd say, three quarters of the way through this praline pecan candle. I hauled this back, mm, it's either at the Summer SAS or just shortly after. I found this and it's very similar, not identical, but really close to pumpkin pecan waffles, which is one of my favorite fall blends. So I thought I would pick it up at the sale price. I grabbed two of them. I wasn't even a quarter of the way through this candle, like just one good pull out burn and realized that it doesn't have like hardly any throw whatsoever. Yeah, smells nice on cold, but no throw. It's been a while since I've had a shitty burning Bath and Body Works candle. Like I've actually been impressed with the quality of the burn lately and the throw. Not that I burn a lot of candles anymore. I only burn them on the sun porch or like literally outside on my back patio, like my deck. Um, <clears throat> so this one burning in my sun porch, which is the very small space and enclosed space at that. At first I thought it was because I have all of the sun porch windows up, but no, this just didn't have a scent throw whatsoever. Each to their own. I'm not a big fan of returning things after I've burnt them with candles. I know with Bath and Body Works exchange policy, you can. I just personally don't like to. I returned the unused candle for something else. And then I just finished this one out. At about halfway through, it got sooty, ucky, kerosene, disgusting. So this one got banished to the back patio. Um, and then we... As you can see, it's a hot mess, but yeah, I was not impressed. And I must say, I used to have a lot more candles like this about two and a half, three years ago. I think Bath & Body Works or White Barn has picked up the quality of the candles a little bit 
especially since um, Harry Slatkin and Homeworks is dominating a lot of their business as of late. I think Bath and Body Works had no choice but to step it up on the QC. So that's a good thing. Um, and if I get one dud every six to eight months, I, I can live with that. So no complaints. I also finished a marshmallow pumpkin latte shower gel. I love this scent. This is my favorite body scent from Bath and Body Works this time of year. I'm going to go into the city tomorrow and haul a boatload more of this. I can't wait. I hope there's leftovers at SAS. Last January, I bought some at SAS and pff, love it when you can get it for like $2.95. But I definitely need about four or five more to get me through the winter. I This isn't just limited to fall for me. I would wear that scent year round. And I've also kind of realized I need to start doing a different method to my madness. You know how usually Bath & Body Works has the buy three, get three free? I always buy even amounts of everything, but I use probably about five times more of the shower gel than I do anything else. So I think the next buy three, get three free, I'll get three shower gels and then maybe two lotions and one body spray or what have you. So the next, let's finish this commercial wax. This is the second half of my commercial wax and then we'll get into my vendor wax. Um, Better Home and Gardens, which is unfortunately super sad, not available in Canada. I finished Fresh Orchard Apples. This to me is a really nice just Mac apple scent. I loved this. I mixed it with Super Tarts Magically Delicious because Lucy is one of, actually I should say it is my favorite out of the wardrobe wax collection, but I don't find it lasts very long. It is so delicious. It just, I don't know, maybe after 45 minutes, the apple scent is gone and it's almost unidentifiable in the room. Kind of gets that... Crisco scent really fast, like a cooking oil. I don't know why. That's that's not common whatsoever in my experience with Super Tarts, just with Lucy. Love it, just won't last. So I mixed this with the Magically Delicious and it was amazing. It was very close, not as good as Lucy, but very close and lasted a lot longer. I would repurchase that one. Uh, cherry chestnut bread. This one is a banger. This one was sent to me in a random act of kindness from my girl Amber in California. That one's intense. Um, probably better for the holiday season, but I didn't mind it. it. It's a nice kickoff, like super strong, super strong for the fall and winter season. So I'm not sure. I think this was left over from the 2017 holiday collection. I'm not sure if this one will come out or if your local Walmart will have it, but if you're looking for a super, super strong cinnamon bakery, and I don't know, I get a hint of cherry, but mixed with the cinnamon, usually I don't like cherry scents, but it's really good. I wouldn't say it's like screaming in your face cherry because that cinnamon really turns it into something unique. Um, when that one was too strong for Miss Grace, I mixed it with half of a cube of this salted caramel grams. Again, this one was sent to me from my girl Amber and left over from the holiday collection of 2017. I don't know if this one will be back out this year, but this is amazing. I love using this one as a blending sign. I mean, the really, the options are limitless, what you can put with this. And if scents are super, super too strong for you, you can kind of cut it down and make it a little bit more mellow, creamy with salted caramel grams. I finished one DD Wax, Tonka and Ode, which scent description says soft cashmere and bergamot. I loved this as a bathroom melt, and this lasted like one cube for $2.99 American. Oh, that's so good. I get more of the soft cashmere than I do bergamot. It's not overly earthy. It's just a beautiful, I'm not even gonna say it's not masculine. I, it's definitely unisex. I think both men and women could get down with that. But for $2.99 American, one cube will last two or three days. Like, that's a lot of bang for your buck. I love this in my bathroom. I would definitely repurchase that one. 
I have two Sensationals Sweet Apple Spice. I have seen this one again here in Canada this year. This one is just kind of like your token apple cinnamon scent. I don't know what it is about this one. There is something floral or perfumey in here. I think it's the apple note. It's a florally apple or like an apple tree blossom. I don't know. It's, it's not bad. It's just deceiving when the picture shows cinnamon and pie. It's not a bakery scent to me. I'm okay with this. Would I run out and repurchase it? Probably not. But for some reason, Miss Grace loves this. And it's not overly sweet either. It's more floral spicy, which is really surprising because usually that's not her scent preference. So Miss Grace asked me to buy another one of these, which I thought was random. Um, Turkish Spice Market. This is one of my favorites for this time of year from Sensationals. This one had rave reviews when I read about it on the Walmart website. This is another one that will last for days. You really have to be able to get down with those Asian spice, really earthy. It's not Nag Champa. It's like sandalwood, clove. It's beautiful. Love this. Crazy strong performer. Crazy. The reviews online were amazing. I remember reading them last year and people both in Canada and the US were like begging Walmart to bring this one back. Love that. I don't know if anybody will be able to find it this year because people were having a mad hard time finding it last year. I happened to score five or six of these last year when for some reason, what is it, Rimports imported a bunch of these made in US clams here and I believe they're in those like big bins in the center of Walmart aisles and usually the price point on these sensational clamshells is $3.48 here in Canada but for whatever reason we got a bunch of made in USA limited edition ones for $1.88 here. I don't know if Rimports was just getting rid of whatever they had in a warehouse kind of like a end of year inventory most companies do. They thought fuck it just ship it up to Canada and blow it out. Um, I know tons of us that were super happy they did. That's how I grabbed six of those. Um, it'll be interesting to see if we ever see that one again. You would think that Rimports, based on the popularity and the demand of the customers requesting these killer scents return, I don't know, I hope somebody's paying attention to people who leave reviews. I finished two Scentsy Bars in the later half of September. One Amazon Rain, which is one of my three token favorite Scentsy scents for my laundry room. That's probably the only room that is just scentsy still in my house. I don't melt anything else in there. Um, not that I'm against melting vendor wax in there, but I really haven't given enough or spent enough time hauling the freshy scents from various vendors to decide what I like. I do have a bunch from Super Tarts. But then I think, too, being Canadian is so difficult for me to get vendor wax. Do I really want to melt my vendor wax, which is difficult to get in my laundry room where I don't spend a great deal of time? Probably not. So Scentsy's great. Um, the three scents that I use are Amazon Rain, Clothesline, and now Lemon Lavender because I have a cat box in there. I'm diligent um, most of the time. Um, I clean that box two, maybe even sometimes three times a day because I hate, hate the smell of cat litter. Even clean cat litter makes me gag. So I love those three Scentsy scents because, um, not that they're masking odor, but I don't know. I swear, nothing smells nice with cat shit, <laughs> you know, what I mean? or urine or whatever. But these ones don't, I don't know not mask it but they they don't ugh, clash with it either I also finished a bar of Sensi's blueberry rush this one has been discontinued now I'm surprised that they didn't bring it back this past summer but I love this as a blending scent and I have been so blessed by my friends and subscribers to send me a bunch of blueberry rush in friend mail exchanges so I've been mixing my blueberry rush with various Sensi bakery scents like sugar cookie, toffee butter crunch, crumb cake, or sorry, crumb 
Okay, from top, um, the mixing blending options with Blueberry Rush are unlimited. <laughs> so I think that's it for my commercial wax. Let's get into my vendor wax. I have a bunch of one-offs. I finished a clam of Barrett's Wax Crafts, Spearmint, and Toasted Marshmallow. This one wasn't really my favorite. I don't know what it is. Certain Barrett scents, instead of being like what you would think, Spearmint is sort of sweet, right? I don't find any of Barrett's blends sugary or sweet. Sometimes they come off as dry. I don't, I don't know how better to explain it, but that's, I don't know. It just smells dry, like dried minty marshmallow. I know that's a horrible way of explaining it, but instead of sugary or sweet, it smells dry. I don't know that I would repurchase that one. I finished uh, Sparkles Wax Melts in Mac Apple. This was okay, but it was just one small cube that my girl Amber sent me just to try out some of this wax. Um, unfortunately, I only had one cube to try, and I tried it in my huge, ginormous 600 square foot bedroom, which was a silly idea. Um, I don't, I can't determine whether or not it was the wax though, or just Perhaps I drowned it out in too big of a space. I don't know. I've never purchased from this vendor, but I'd be curious to try more of it and s just see how it performs in different rooms. Because as much as I do love my bedroom, it's a very dynamic space. So I don't want to say that there's anything wrong with the wax when I put one tiny cube in a ginormous room where it just got lost, right? I finished uh, Destination Wax Cuban Tobacco. This one, again, I did the exact same thing. Both of these, like that smells like a perfect, authentic Mac Apple, and this smelled gorgeous. This one was also gifted to me by my girl Amber in California. Cuban Tobacco says Fruity Sweet Tobacco Scent. Um, it was really nice. The, I think this one was sent to her as a sample in one of her orders. This is gorgeous, but again, kicking myself in the ass. I should have melted this in the bathroom or in a smaller space. But at the time, I was working on a bunch of um, uh, stuff that I have to hand in to my business advisor. So I was sitting at my desk in my room and, yeah, wasted them. I finished Imagine. I can't remember the scent notes exactly on this one, but I think it's Herbal Lavender, Bergamot, something else. This is gorgeous loved this. Um, once it was cured, it performed well, but I did need to use two really fair sized chunks to get a decent scent throw, again, in that large space. I would repurchase that though, in large quantities, if I ever see it poured again. I finished Victorian Midway by Bathing Garden. This is spiced apple funnel cake, pumpkin frosted cinnamon, and brown sugar. I hold this back in March. I believe it's finally cured. This one too, it was really nice. Um, it wasn't an overly strong performer, but it was a steady performer. It had, I'd say a low to medium scent throw and lasted five, six hours, which for vendor wax, in my experience, is pretty good. Um, this one too, I don't know why or a better way to describe it. But much like Barrett's, this one smelt very dry. I hit like stale bread, dry, not sugary or sweet as you'd expect from cinnamon and brown sugar. I don't think that that one would be a repurchase for me, but it's not terrible. I have another um, same size, like they're about this big tart that I cut into four. I would definitely melt it with something else. I think for my second tart in this scent, I'm going to use it as a blending scent. <clears throat> I finished a clam of creamy nutmeg latte marshmallow sweet pumpkin from Sassy Girl Aroma. This one was sent to me from my girl Amber in California. I love this scent and it was super sweet of her to send this to me. I find that Sassy Girl my experience with Sassy Girl anyways. My fall wax in clamshells 
from this is September of last year lasts a lot better than even my sassy girl from November of 2017. I have loaves from October, November that are losing their scent. I have no idea why, but they're not even half as strong as they used to be. But this sassy in the clams was amazing, just as strong as probably the day it was purchased. Amber had also sent me Cider Lane Whipped Cream Graham Cracker and Marshmallow Fireside. This one was gorgeous. I don't know if I'll ever see that blend poured again, but I would buy it in clams and in large quantities, like 10 clams. That one was amazing. Thank you so much, Amber. And also, this was um, one of those fancy squares that she does in her coffee samplers. From my girl Amber Zucchini Noel and Coffee House. I love, love, love Julie's coffee scents. I finished two southbound candle selections. These are uh, wax that I received in a D stash last year. So that's why they say southbound soap still. But I finished strawberry zucchini cupcake, which says freshly picked strawberries zucchini bread and buttercream cupcakes. This one was really nice. I also sent this to a couple of my friends in Random Acts of Kindness recently, so I hope you guys enjoy those. Tori, let me know what you thought of that one. And then I also finished Southbound Soap Candle Company's Super Sugar Cookie, which is freshly baked sugar cookies with sweet vanilla. This was amazing. If you like a super sugar cookie you would also like ultimate sugar cookie from Ava's and vice versa I find they're not identical but very 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 close what else do I have I have some Ava's country cupboard most of this is from last year. Oh, with the exception of Ava's Cupcakes. This was poured in April. I like this. It's not my favorite cupcake scent, but it's unique. Ava's Cupcakes is just, I believe, a white cupcake buttercream frosting and some sort of secret house blend. of. It's a fruity cupcake scent, which is different, and I really, really appreciate that. It's not the same old, same old cupcake you come to expect from certain vendors. So this was nice. Um, I did recently purchase this in a chunk bag, so it was really good. Also, Ava's Wax throws really well in my space, and each to their own, obviously. But this comes in one of those great big giant roses, and I could cut it into five pieces. So I think that's a lot of bang for your buck. This was a sample of Ava's Ultimate Zucchini, which is my favorite zucchini ever. It's just zucchini bread fragrance oil mixed with her Ultimate Sugar Cookie. It's delicious. I have recently repurchased that one in a chunk bag as well. Rustic Lodge was gorgeous. This is just a fragrance oil, um, not mixed with anything else. There's several vendors who do different variations of the same fragrance oil. I would definitely repurchase this in large quantities. I can't remember the scent notes on it. It's basically like cinnamon, clove, nutmeg, maybe even orange peels or something. It's just your like token fall, winter, amazing scent. I loved this. Love this. I didn't think I'd love it that much. I was kind of thinking like, oh, that's so boring. That's so predictable. But once it was melting, I'm like, yes, I need large quantities of this for the month of December. Um, this one got crushed. Miss Alabella just destroyed this little scent shot cup. This is really old. I received this in a D stash a long time ago, just as like a random thing that um, the seller threw in. Sweet apple cornbread. There's no date on it, but I think it's been a while since she's used these little one ounce souffle cups, but it didn't matter. It was super strong. I have no idea how old that is, and I'm not typically a fan of cornbread scents just because to me it smells like Fritos, but this one was really good. I would repurchase that one as well. And then last but not least from Ava's, I finished Caramel Pumpkin Waffles, which is just pumpkin pecan waffles and maybe, 
almost like Yankee salted caramel candle. I don't know. That's what it reminded me of. No. I take that back. There's no salt in it. It's just caramel and pumpkin pecan waffles. Really nice. Super strong. Crazy, crazy strong performer. This is one of her like smaller pinwheel tarts, and I chopped this down into four pieces. Even in fourths through like a beast. Love that. That one was also gifted to me in a random act of kindness from my girl Amber, like last January, and it's still as strong as the day it is, or still as strong as it was last year. Um, let's do some super tarts. No, let's get this over with first. Um, recently, my friends from Regina, Saskatchewan, sent me some wax from. Country Market Crafts. This is an Etsy vendor. She is Canadian. I had never tried her wax before. Um, it was okay. It wasn't really powerful for me. Cindy and Marissa had told me that they kind of had the same experience. They did a huge haul just because they're, de they're desperate to get their hands on vendor wax being Canadian too. So they found this Canadian vendor on Etsy and they decided to try it. But I I don't want to speak for them, but I don't think that they're rushing out to make any additional purchases, which is unfortunate. It wasn't very strong. Um, Clean Day is a fragrance oil from, oh, what is it, Nature's Garden. And the only reason I know this is because she even uses the exact same scent description that Nature's Garden uses. Um, I don't know if it's her proprietary wax blend, which is coconut soy, or... She's just not using enough fragrance oil. It's not very strong at all. This is Clean Day is um, Red Delicious Apple, Raspberries, Plum, and Sugar, followed by Middle Notes of Floral, Rosaceous Green Notes, Lilac, Pear, and Eucalyptus. It's on a powdery, woodsy, musk base note. This is a Mrs. Meyer or Mrs. Meyer Clean Day. My American subscribers will know what I'm talking about. Canadians are like, huh? Because <laughs> we don't have Meyers here. <laughs> um, but... My American waxes know what I'm talking about. Lemon biscotti, same thing. Uh, I believe that this is um, a nature's garden fragrance oil, and I'm not sure if she just is the proprietary wax blend or perhaps not enough fragrance oil. But bummer, because it smelled really good if you had your nose like in your inside the dish, like touching. You know, it's a shame. It's a shame because we definitely need more Canadian indie vendors. Um, super tarts. I finished a sample of the thing which was sent with one of my orders back in July. This is really nice. You have to definitely be able to get down with peach as well as cornbread. Um, I don't think I would ever buy this in large quantities like in a BAM because I'm just not sure that I love it that much. But I would definitely buy a clam of the thing for probably next spring. I finished Family Matters, which is zucchini butter brickle, ice cream scoop bread, and a touch of fresh brewed coffee. Not enough fresh brewed coffee for me, which I was hopeful for, but it does make a really great bakery scent. You could even use this as a blender. Clearly, I enjoyed it because I finished a whole BAM, and I'm on to my second BAM bag. I just wish it had more coffee in it. What I need to do is purchase some potion packs on my next clam jam, because if I added, like, um, Brandy's roasted coffee or even her Starbucks coffee to this just to kick up that coffee a notch it would be more my jam but it's not to say that it's not great it, it's great just not enough coffee from what I was looking for I finished fake and bake love this love this on its own love this blending it with things fake and bake is zucchini bread and signature sugar cookie with sweet cream um, I don't even think this is the first band bag. This is second, second band bag I've finished in 2018 of Fake and Bake, and well on to my third. I love it year round. I also finished Full House, which is cookie jar, sweet cream, cotton candy, and marshmallows. To be perfectly honest, that for some of these scents, I get about a quarter to a halfway through a pant bag and I'm like I don't really know if I like this and by the second half I absolutely love it I have 
couple clams of full house as well as another full band bag of that. So super happy. I'm going to need it this fall and winter because I like cookie scents in the fall and winter. I finished Harry, which is magically delicious in French baguette. I need like super pans of Harry. I love this. This was another one that at first when I melted my first clam, I was like, well, I'm not sure. I don't know why people are so crazy about it. And after a while, it just grew on me. I think what happened is I started to melt blends that had Harry in it, like, um, oh, not Harry in it. It was a French baguette that I really had to warm up to. Like Ego has Mac Apple and French baguette. Um, Daily Planet is French baguette and coffee. I started to kind of melt various blends and that's when I really started to warm up to Harry. I finished Miracle on 34th, which you guys have heard on my channel a thousand times. It's fresh fallen leaves, creamy pumpkin pie topped with toasted marshmallows. This is one of my, actually I'd say this is my all time favorite super tart scent that I have tried thus far and I've tried quite a few. I just recently ordered two band bags of that to get me through the rest of the fall and winter. I know most people look at that and think fall and winter. I personally melt that one year round. That and Antique Shop are just some of my favorite comfort scents for whatever reason. Doesn't matter what time of year it is, I would melt Miracle on 34th and Antique Shop forever. We finished Casper, which is toasted marshmallow, vanilla bean Noel, cornbread, and Mexican fried ice cream. Um, who was it? Oh, I was watching her channel a while ago. Why is her name escaping me? Um, she has a daughter. She has a wax channel. She has a birds. She does her, you've never seen her in a video. She does her setup on like a coffee table and they've got birds. Oh my goodness, I feel like such an asshole right now. <laughs> This is a prime example of why I shouldn't be filming videos at 11 o'clock at night. Anyways, you guys know what I'm talking about. She kept saying, like, I don't want to burn myself out on this scent. I've heard her say that so many times in videos, and I'm like, I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> sure enough, I burnt myself out on Casper. When I first discovered this late last winter, early spring, I melted so much Casper. I just, I don't know, it started to gross me out. And now I know exactly what she's talking about. I took a break from it, and I'm back to loving Casper again. I finished Daily Planet, which is Starbucks coffee, that French baguette and brown sugar. This is amazing. I love the Starbucks coffee. Fragrance oil, oh, it's so good. It's not quite as bitter. It's closer to um, Rose Girl's Latte blends, just to put things into perspective. It's not like absolute coffee or espresso, which have that bitter or roasted coffee note. So in case you're just curious or wanting to know more about Super Tarts coffee scents, that's what you're getting when you pick either the Starbucks coffee potion pack or any of the Starbucks coffee blends. It's closer to my nose anyways to a latte than to a roasted coffee or a bitter espresso note. There's no place like home, blackberry jam, vanilla buttercream, Twinkies, and butter cookies. This is kind of like a staple bakery here at the Dollhouse. Love this. You'll probably see many more empties of this in Nova Prime. Um, I finished Star Trek Starfleet, which is zucchini bread, jelly donut, and sugar cookie. Wasn't so sure that I loved this one either at first. And it's not just limited to brandy. It's that jelly donut scent that I really, I'm not sure that I love. Um, is it Tara Will Never Go Hungry Again or, no, it's Purple Haze. If you like Purple Haze from Vintage Chic Scents, you'll like Starfleet and vice versa. Not, they're not the exact same, but it's, it's um, because all of these different vendors use different oils but it's the same realm of, you know what I mean. So yeah, that's it. Wow, that's a lot. There's the remainder of my empties for the month of September. I do have a couple few things left over. This is just my kitchen basket and I have a 
few more partial band bags and stuff that I'll likely put back into my wax closet. Um, I keep this little basket here on my baker's rack in the kitchen with my favorite kitchen, living room, kind of dining room blends. It's just more convenient to reach in here and grab and go. Um, I'm going to go through here and decide what I'm going to move over into my October melting basket. So stay tuned for that. And if not, I'll make sure that this is all dated and put it away for next year or maybe even pass it on to friends and family if it needs to be melted immediately this year. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Stay tuned. My October melting basket will be coming up soon. I can't wait. I'm about done with the apple. You might see a, a couple few apple blends in there, but I'm ready to break up the pumpkin scents. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.